there, Dumpy. Let's get all the ports and everything correct, but this is going to be Hat, Falcon versus Seabass, Luigi. I don't know if Seabass has other practice, but uh, he and I have played a fair amount. Uh, and I also have no clue who the last Luigi had played was. I know he plays a lot of netplay. I don't know, does Vist still play uh, netplay? Anyone, anyone talk to Vist lately? Shouts to Vist. Anyway. I know Vist for a little bit was, uh, was a bit of a netplay, a net player. That's it. It's a nice looking stomp. Dang, Seabass really did jab up tilt and then got punished. Oh, the pivot. Has feeling it. He did pivot knee for zero reason. Missed it. By a country mile. Hey, cool in chat. Oh, I like that. Run, run, crouch, jab. Yeah, see how fast that releases? Seabass was telling me about that a while ago. Once you once you start charging up smash, releasing it happens in either two or three frames. I already forgot. But it happens real fast. And Luigi, of course, has the luxury of still sliding while he's charging it. You get some, you get some cheese with that. Seabass's punishes are, are definitely good on fastballers, though. So, uh, Hat is definitely gonna need to punish him harder. Takum, definitely one of the few top tiers who can properly combo the Mario Brothers with exactly the same brain dead up air, up air, up air nonsense he, covers, he combos everyone else with. I feel like Falcon might be the character that Hat has been playing the most. It looks like he's pretty practiced with his Falcon. There's a lot of like... There's a lot of stuff. His Marth is obviously very good. And he was playing it earlier. But there's something... Something that says I've been practicing about the way that he's dealing with uh, knockdowns and... Uh, just the way he's been moving a little bit. That's so scary, just like multiple jabs on shield. Especially when Luigi has a little bit of uh, forward momentum, because he's Luigi, and he's just, he rocketed in there. Especially because I know Seabass likes to jab up B. Always ledge, always ledge. Uh, yeah. I definitely agree with that uh, back here from Hat. It just happened to miss. He wasn't quite there in time. Always ledge, yeah. Hat new, Seabass new, everybody new. So here we go, here's, here's Sheik. Regardless of who he's been playing the most, Sheik has been Hat's best character traditionally. As long as I've known him. So she gets I don't think she gets the same kinda the same kind of combos, you know. As as Falcon's extended hits, but you still you still definitely get like forward tilt fair. And like what else do you really need? Your buttons are just so good. Like your back air, look how huge that back air is. Whoa. I feel like Seabass kinda deserved that forward smash. The other thing Sheik is really good at is uh, edge guarding Luigi. 
Again, because that back air, partly, but just being able to grab the ledge, reset a little bit, drop down back air. Sometimes you get to go out there with fair and kill kind of early, because Luigi's recovery, this poor side B, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty linear, it's pretty readable. That second hit of, of down B always feels bad to get comboed into. Because it's not even like a real combo. It's never it's never quite a real combo. It feels like it's never quite a real combo. But you could hit anyway. Cool. I think had his DI'd in on every up air. Every up air thus far. There's a thing where you can make uh, up B almost safe, but uh, keyword is almost. Tried to go back to ledge with the up B and grab ledge, but it, not quite fast enough. Also, if he had done that on the other side of uh, Sheik, would have gotten invisible ceiling, I think. But Hat wasn't quite fast enough for the left side. Uh, you almost, you definitely didn't want a forward smash, right? So you probably wanted a down smash or maybe run off fair. Maybe he was stuck between both ideas. Yeah, that's, that back here is the bane of Luigi. Dang, 17%. At a distance. <laughs> that was so meaty. Walk forward slowly. Hat tried to do the uh, the twenty X sheet. Run off. Oh, that upper is sick. Run off needle. Turn around. Grab which. He did it from the side platform, but he was still not quite fast enough. It shows you why it's freaking crazy that the twenty X computers just do it from from stage. Run off needle. Turn around. Grab which. Needle. Turn around. Cancel. Grab which. Yeah, the item again on the upper. He, he shook his head. <laughs> Alright. Even though I would say in general this Falcon was This Falcon felt to me more practiced, maybe? I don't know. His Sheik definitely knows what to do though. Seabass got an expression right now. He's hard for him. Spot dodge force. Chic classic. Yeah, that's some that's some Luigi stuff. He he ran to get that grab instead of wave dash. Like it was a, it was a really short amount, like a really short distance, but there's like there's a lot of confidence in running as Luigi. If you have if you have momentum already as as you're wave dashing, then it's kind of different. But there's something funny about running to get a grab. Big back here. That was a good wave lands. Mid, mid platform. Cover a bunch of options. Wow, that, that hand was enormous. That hand reached like what felt like the middle of underneath that platform. I like that in there, challenging. Uh, Hat knew that Seabass wanted to slide off, get something. Hat just got up there faster. But Seabass is definitely moving now. He likes his platform movement. I think he likes this stage in particular for it. Like that, that just looks. That's some, some practiced movement right there. It's 
It's also a lot of confidence full hop. Luigi. Full hop and did get punished, and then... I guess he got punished for a full hop afterwards, but... Right after I was thinking, like, man, c has been real brave with these full hops. Oh. No. Alright, yeah, that's... <laughs> C-Bass went through, like, four emotions after seeing Hat hold me stalking. That was... That was something. Yeah, I don't think you can get anything off that down throw. I think... I think you have to up tilt and then still could probably get punished for it. See, when you're playing as Falcon and you get a grab, you at least get... I don't know. It's not like really a 50-50. You at least can punish if he nares. I don't really think it's... It's kind of hard to punish his uh, nair if you down throw a Sheik. That was an interesting angle his hat, or hat just did. He tried to fake going to the top platform. Now what do we do? Do we go back and try a different character? Go Dreamland, same character? I did not expect that, but I guess it makes sense. What, what just traded with? Was that up to? That's crazy. I feel like as you play more melee, you're like, oh yeah, that, that was a clank, that just kind of happens. But then... Sometimes... Sometimes the clanks just make no sense. Like, I know it's a, I know it's a percent threshold, it's like 7% or something, but... If something does 20 and something does 13, then they clank. Still looks weird. Rising full hop nair from Luigi is crazy. It looks really good because the person comes with you, but that was not quite high percent for it. But, uh... This is kind of a slower paced game, so it's a bigger stage. Hat did it again where he, he's kind of faking to go into the platform. Cheeks recovery is... I don't know, it's, it's, it's punishable, but you gotta, you gotta do what you can. Make everything... Make everyone work a little bit harder. <laughs> I feel like I, I don't watch too many Sheiks that have, have a personality. I feel like Hat's... Hat Sheik definitely has a personality. Ooh, he slipped underneath the grab, pretty sure. In between the hits of down smash. A lot of Sheik's moves take her pretty low at the start, especially. 
I'm gonna, uh, her down tilt, her dash is pretty low, but I don't think it goes underneath that much stuff. Yeah, her, her down smash is something. Has looking pretty good to take this to game five, though. Every time I see low percent, like, regrabs, Seabass Seabass runs to get them, which is correct, because it's working, and he has the time. But there's something just really funny about watching poor Luigi dash and then do do running grab. No jump on Seabass. That was kind of dangerous. Up air hat did hold in, but it didn't matter. Not even charged us. That's unfortunate. No down B used. No recovery. We're chilling. It's game five. Everyone's trying to remember what, what stage have we even been on. All right, going to the fountain. Sure, why not? Game five. Winner's final. You know what? Winner's finals. That up tilt is really meaty, honestly. Or it feels really meaty. Yeah, held in again. I gotta keep a running running counter. Down throw? Okay. You have some interesting options there. Down throw, up throw, I don't think ever is correct, right? But, uh, There had, was, had waited for the Nair and tried to punish, and he was too slow. Because you had to go fast. There's, there's just grab ledge and then roll up. Not quite enough time. Not enough time spent on ledge. Wow. Really solid crouch cancel. Really high percent. There's a down B. Is down B is charged, in case anyone was wondering. Oh, Seabass could have nared like ten times. <laughs> he had he had the the rare opportunity where the platform is going down, and you're you're if you just do a bunch of shield drop nares, you would stay on the platform really easy. Because you can always do that. You can always do a bunch of nares in a row. Um, you have like two frames or something as Luigi nair. It's actually pretty. I think it's the most lenient. If you hit a shield as you shield drop nair at a certain timing, you get to stay on the platform. No, uh, yeah, that's. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> down smash, down smash, down smash. I mean, Seabass is kind of taking over this game. He's definitely just punished. He's punished that pretty hard. Hat has not gotten enough started. Like yeah, it's one that's one fair and then Seabass holds down, doesn't tick, and then the mix up from there, Pat has not gotten anything. Oh that was that was time for a patented hat up smash on the side of the stage. And he did down smash instead. It's unfortunate. It was a good wait. He held the needles and didn't didn't bother letting him go, because he knew he could just down smash. He's not dead, but Hat, like, stopped holding. Okay, he's... Yeah, he's dead. Now. I feel like Hat held out. Could have gone back to the stage a bit harder. Yeah, Hat, Hat that was like a desperation throw. He just back through. He's like, I don't even know what to do. Maybe you up throw Luigi? That sounds terrible, actually. What am I thinking? You probably forward throw Luigi. No jump. Yeah, that's, that's it. It's pretty clean needles. That's another part that just gives Luigi recovery. I didn't even talk about it or think about. Like you have you have your enormous back air, but then if, even if you want to stay on stage, you can just throw needles. Depending on depending on how bad the situation is, Luigi might have to jump. He kind of has to eat the needles. Just like that, had turn it around. That's that's not gonna quite kill, but. He's off stage, no jump? No, he's got a jump. No jump. All right. Charge, up smash. 
That's it. Big trade. And Hat takes winner's finals. Wish you.